Stan Jibalisco here from a globular cluster in a galaxy without a name in a cluster of galaxies without a name in a universe without a name in a set of universes without a name in a thought kingdom with a name strung out. Stan Jibalisco here. I would like to briefly mention now, I would not only like to do it, I will do it. A mode called Audio Frequency Shift Keying. Now, uh, you don't see this on the high frequency ham radio bands, but you do see it on the VHF, very high frequency bands, such as 2 meters and above. In Audio Frequency Shift Keying, uh, what you basically do is use any mode that's, uh, that in employs phase or frequency shift, such as radio teletype, and you create the two tones with an audio oscillator and then just put it into the modulator of an AM transmitter. It could also be an FM transmitter. Uh, it's that simple. So what you're really doing is you're sending the actual tones that you want to receive uh, in your uh, demodulator right over the air as a modulated signal. That way you don't have to worry about tuning it precisely. The tones are already precisely set by themselves, such as 2125 and uh, 2975 hertz. Uh, something like that uh, would be, I believe that would be... Uh, 850 hertz shift. You don't hear that very often anymore, but uh, you can also send a phase shift signal that way. You can send any signal that you would send in the normal uh, modes, normal meaning more commonly used on high frequencies. So you have an AM or an FM signal coming out of here, and all you're doing is putting the tones in there and sending them out. Then the receiver is a, an AM or FM receiver, and it picks up the tones and sends them to your regular demodulator or your um, terminal unit, what, what they call those things now, digital interface, uh, to your computer, and you can uh, operate just like that. Uh, it's a, it's a, a mode that I remember using when I worked at the uh, American Radio Relay League station W1AW on two meters on 147.555 megahertz, I believe it was, we sent AM uh, signals like this. It's uh, not you. The bandwidth is too wide for high frequencies anymore, and it's an antiquated mode in a certain way. But it only requires a regular FM radio, such as a two-meter FM transceiver, and then of course your terminal unit or demodulator or interface, whatever you want to call it. Audio frequency shift keying, A-F-S-K. Stan Jibalisco signing off from a globular cluster somewhere, well, you know the drill, somewhere at an undetermined time and place, an unnamed place, you name it for me. I'm too lazy. Stan Jibalisco once again saying so long for now.